Hello everyone, I'm Claire Stewart. Thanks for joining us tonight. Controversy continues over the upcoming closure of Partlow Developmental Center in Tuscaloosa. Right now, the facility houses about 150 people with intellectual disabilities, but the State Department of Mental Health wants to close Partlow and move them into group homes in the community. Partlow residents' family members are coming together to try to stop it from happening. WVA's Bradley Whittington has more in tonight's top story. At a closed meeting Wednesday morning, the Alabama Department of Mental Health gave Partlow's patients and their family members a contract. But officials found out quickly no one is ready to sign anything. They were offering us uh, contracts where we could decide whether we wanted to take our loved one home with us, which is unheard of because of, of the, the money situation, or, or to be placed in the community. And uh, from what we know of the community, it is definitely uh, not the place to go. People pitched the fit. They said not no, but uh, absolutely not. Patrons of Partlow met again Wednesday afternoon, this time in a public setting without officials from the Department of Mental Health. Republican State Representative John Merrill attended both meetings to hear the family's concerns. He says the Alabama legislature is doing everything it can to stop Partlow's closure. We will exhaust all the options available to us, whether it requires proposing a statute change or whether it proposes that we do something else that would enable us to be more successful in stopping the discussions that are presently going on. Family members say most of the residents in Partlow have been there for several years and taking them out of Partlow would be like taking them out of their home. What's at Partlow now? is um, some of those residents have been there for 60 years and um, they've got, uh, it's like a family. They've got friends there and, and they know each and every one of them. God bless them, They're, they do a job I don't think that I could do. Patrons of Partlow President David McRae says they're not taking legal action yet, but that option is being considered. Each family plans to send a letter to Governor Robert Bentley describing their individual situation. The Alabama legislature is expected to discuss Partlow's closure when lawmakers return from spring break. Reporting in Tuscaloosa, Bradley Whittington, WVUA News. When Partlow closes September 30th, state mental health officials say each resident will be served through a network of certified community providers across the state. Mental health officials estimate this transition will create about 400 jobs in the private sector, and Partlow employees will have priority consideration for those jobs. Eleven other states have closed their public institutions for those with intellectual disabilities, and Alabama will become the first state in the South to do this.